Hi! In this video, we will explain how to do speech intelligibility tests with the Bedrock SM50 or SM90. First of all, let's clarify what we mean by speech intelligibility. Assume we have a talker on one end of a channel, say a phone line. On the other end of the line is a listener. As the talker is speaking, the listener tries to hear every word. Speech intelligibility is simply a measure of how much of the talker's message arrives at the listener and how much is lost. In some cases, intelligibility is expressed as a percentage of words that the listener can correctly repeat back. The lower the quality of the phone line, the lower that percentage gets. To measure speech intelligibility accurately, you'll need a whole bunch of talkers and listeners in order to get a reliable average. But who has time for that? Fortunately, there are ways to accurately predict intelligibility based on measurements. By far the most widely used intelligibility prediction method is called the Speech Transmission Index, or STI. It comes in two flavors, Full STI and STIPA. More on that in a minute. First, let's look on how you measure the STI. Let's take that phone line again. To start a measurement, first you replace the talker with the source of the STI test signal, such as the Bedrock talk box, which sounds like this. Weird as it sounds, this signal is designed to exactly contain all frequencies and modulations that carry information in human speech. On the other side of our phone line, we replace the listener with an STI analyzer, our Bedrock SM50 or SM90. This analyzer decodes which parts of the signal are lost and which parts are preserved. It then calculates a number between 0 and 1, called the STI. The STI scale tells us exactly what level of intelligibility to expect. The great thing about the STI is that it works for any kind of channel. A lecture at a convention center, the sermon of a minister in church, announcements at airports. If there is any kind of electronic distortion or ambient noise or influence of the acoustics of the room, the STI will pick up on that. Now, getting back to those two flavors, Full STI and STIPA. Full STI is the most complete and reliable version that works pretty much in every situation. Each measurement takes just over a minute. STIPA is a somewhat simplified version originally made for public address systems, hence the letters PA. A STIPA measurement only takes about 20 seconds and is just as reliable in almost every situation. Just avoid STIPA if you hear echoes or if you have a combination of strong reverberation and noise. At Bedrock Audio, we're actually quite proud that it was our R&D team that originally came up with STIPA. Now supported by more than a dozen manufacturers and thousands of users. So far, we're also the only ones who figured out how to do full STI on a handheld instrument. That's it. If you'd like to learn more, we highly recommend our white paper on STIPA testing.